This is the graphics um, department, and mm -hmm. Eduardo, they basically do all the graphics and all the Harry Potter films. Everything from the Daily Profits, to all the school books, to the sweet wrappers. Can I show them this? Can you yeah. This? this is this amazing map. Be very careful with it. I will not break it. Okay, look, just, it's amazing. It's just, it's like a magic secret thing. And look, if you look really close, there's real stairs in the map. <laughs> And it goes all the way down into the room of doom. <laughs> I really wish I'd been given a Marauder's Map at the beginning of Harry Potter. The place is so huge. I still got lost at the end trying to find the set, and then I was late all the time. <laughs> 영화에서 미술은 큰 비중을 차지합니다. 특히 판타지 영화인 해리포터는 대부분의 소품이나 배경이 일상생활에 없는 것들이라 상상력을 발휘해 창조해내야 하죠. 머러더스 맵도 역시 롤링의 소설에서부터 나온 그저 활자로 설명되어 있던 것을 그래픽 디자이너들이 시각적으로 멋지게 재현한 것입니다. 지니 역을 맡았던 보니도 그래픽 디자이너 에드워드를 만나 이야기를 나누었는데요. 해리포터의 그래픽 디자인 세계를 함께 보시죠. Hi, I'm Bonnie Ryan. I play Ginny Weasley, and besides acting, one of my favourite passions is art. So I'm here in the art department to show you around kind of all the different things that they've been making. All of these props are from the Weasley Wizarding Weezes. In the graphics department, they've kind of designed all specific product names that they've been coming up with for like the whole film. One of my favourite ones is all the, the love potions. This one's called Twilight Moonbeam. So they've all got really weird. <laughs> mad names that we were looking on on set. I spent a lot of time, about a week, in the art farm. Some of the things that I was doing was help decorate the, the Weasley house, which was quite fun to do, as kind of it was meant to be all homemade, and I was actually making it, it was quite weird. When we were in the scene, I was looking around, I was like, oh, I did that. This is Eduardo, who's a graphic designer. Hi, um, Hi. we're wondering if you could show us all your amazing things. Yes. Now some of the products, like the decoy detonator, nose biting teacup, they come from the book, J.K. Okay. Rowling. Oh, she, right, yeah, yeah. She, did, she did that. And, but the majority of the products this year, we have to come up ourselves. Uh -huh. Did you spend a long time thinking of all the names? Yes, but like more than 300 names. Oh my God. And <laughs> had to clear every single name before uh -huh. we do the design. How many things did you actually have to make of each? Were there so many? I think it was at least a hundred of each product. So how long did it take? Varies, but I think more or less three to four days and five right. days until you show everyone and everyone approves. Yeah. Do you do all of it kind of by hand or do you do it on the computer? We tend to do a little bit by hand and computer, but uh -huh. the computer is the primary. Is the fun, yeah, is the yeah. primary thing. The Quibble magazine. There's so many details kind of within the books. Do people get to see it all? No, but I think this is a kind of Harry Potter thing. And yeah. Stuart, he's really good on that. And everyone just follow him yeah. and Stephanie. Everything is so detailed. Yeah. So it's already now in mind that everything needs to be not kind of empty text. books. Yeah. Now, yeah. I can see now that there's so many different things yeah. in the film industry that I don't think people really realise are here. 실제 상품을 만드는 것처럼 상품의 이름을 짓고 포장지도 모두 디자인했다고 하네요. 이 작업들이 워낙 완벽해서 해리포터 테마파크에 이 제품들이 그대로 쓰였다고 합니다. 영화로 봤을 땐 그저 매초로 스쳐가는 장면이었지만 많은 스텝들의 시간과 노력이 있었다는 걸 다시 한번 깨닫게 됩니다. 다시 나탈리아의 투어로 넘어가 소품과 무대 미술에 대해 더 살펴보죠. They're amazing. People. They're geniuses. Mm. And the brooms over there, if you just find them. Be reintroduced to your broom. I'm going to name it. I don't know what to call it. This is so lovely. Look at it. So you've got to get it's used to it. It's not too heavy. It's not too, yeah, I was going to say, as long as Arm you don't work. think it's too heavy. <laughs> this is really interesting. We took off the bark off a branch. Yeah. And there's a steel pole inside, a titanium pole inside there that we, we stuck it onto. And then we waxed it and polished it up. But we really like the sort of magical quality of this. Wood. And matches your hair. <laughs> yeah, there was bits of purple, <laughs> small <laughs> shades, and this. I love it. 각각의 캐릭터에 맞게 빗자루를 디자인했다는 걸 아셨나요? 대충 보면 다 똑같은 빗자루 같지만 디자인이 다들 제각각입니다. Sorry, Gary, this is Matt. Hello. 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 Gary, Hi, this is me, Gary. So, what are you doing? What's what in there? In here? It's mm -hmm. quite messy. It's my area. Um, oh, it's not messy at all. It looks very tidy. <laughs> wow. So, did you draw all this? Yes. For this film, we're using Hogsmeade Village quite a lot. And although we saw it briefly in film number three, on this film we see the kids walk through the village, so we need the whole extent of the village. So from that original concept sketch, we then make, you know, the white card model. Where would you like, like to live? Little Dutch houses. 
Some Look, of them. the front, like the architecture. Yes, those ones it. are. How amazing are the Harry Potter artists? All the detail. I mean, it's just incredible. I, on the other hand, failed art when I was 15. 게리가 작업했듯이 처음엔 스케치로 시작해서 화이트 카드 모델로 만들어 감독과 제작자에게 보여준다고 합니다. Here we are in the art department. This is Martin. Hi. And Martin is going to tell me something about this, like what all this is. <laughs> okay, what, what these are, um, white car models, we use these to show the director and all the crew uh, what we're going to build. So this is the atrium set, uh, part of the Ministry of Magic, and um, this is the actual scale model of what we built down on the stage. 해리포터에서 가장 화려한 세트 중 하나죠. 마법부 역시 이런 가정으로 만들어졌습니다. Moving on. Oh, you guys have to check out the atrium. I was in here the other day filming and I could not stop staring. It's the coolest set. Oh look, there's Stuart Craig, the production designer. Oh no. Hey Stuart, what are they doing to your beautiful set? They look like they're destroying it. Well, I'm, I'm actually quite used to sets being destroyed. I mean, they, they're built to last a few days and then you tear them down. That's, that's what a movie set is. So uh, this is the beginning of the, of the big con confrontation. Uh, and so we're breaking glass. We've taken all the glass out of the windows, replaced it with shards of glass. We've ripped the blinds and the destruction begins. Thanks, Stuart. The inspiration for this set was the real London underground. If you ever go down there, it's the craziest place. It's all these circular tunnels and ceramic tiles. Kind of Victorian. I better get out of here. It looks like they're about ready to start. Sketch와 카드 모델로 제작자의 승인이 떨어지면 드디어 세트장을 짓습니다. 이렇게 어렵게 만들어진 세트장이지만 영구적이지 않아요. 마법부 같은 경우는 영화 스토리상 큰 전투가 있어서 부쉈지만 대부분의 영화 세트장은 촬영 후 철거됩니다. 다행히 해리포터 시리즈는 워낙 성공적이었기에 일부 세트장은 철거를 안 했고요. 현재는 관람객을 허용하여 투어가 가능합니다. The model shop. Let's see what they're up to today. Oh, cool. These guys are working on the centaurs. I can't believe they put these together. By building these models, the art department can get the details and scale just right. Then they send the models to the visual effects department to scan them into the computer and bring them to life. You guys should see this cactus. This is Neville's cactus. And whenever he's holding it, there's this guy off camera that operates it with a remote control. It's the coolest prop. It completely wiggles and squirms. I heard the others talking about how it fires this slimy goop. I'm so lucky I wasn't there on that day. 재밌게 보셨다면 구독과 좋아요 꼭 부탁드리고 더 궁금한 점이나 공유하고 싶으신 이야기가 있으시다면 댓글로 남겨주세요. 그럼 저는 최대한 빠른 시일 내로 유익한 영상으로 다시 돌아오겠습니다. 지금까지 더블리였습니다.